Yo, what's going on guys? This is Horcrux here. Welcome back to the channel. So before we begin today's video, shout out to all my Patreon supporters and also all my subscribers. We did hit 3,000 subscribers today. I know that's a super small milestone in any YouTuber's career, but to me, uh, it's a pretty big deal. So I am doing a gold giveaway uh, this Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a million gold giveaway. So uh, just kind of get back to the community a little bit if you want to be a part of that. Please enable the bell icon because 80% of you guys are not currently subscribed who watch my videos. So I would love to get to 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year. I know it's a pretty high goal. So if you could help your boy Horcrux out, that would be greatly appreciated. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. Now, I know I said this is going to be a top five, but it's actually a, a top seven. I'm going to go over a couple of honorable mentions before we begin uh, my actual top five list. So the very first set I want to mention is Bright Throat's Boast. Um, you get this in the Merkmire DLC. Uh, it gives you max mag, max mag, recovery, and then whenever you have a drink buff active, you get maximum match again. Also, even more recovery. Now, there's a lot of kind of spicy drinks out there. This pairs really well with uh, Magic of Sorcerer, Magic of Night Blade, pretty much anything with a damage shield. You typically pair this with the next honorable mention I'm going to bring up here, which is also crafty. The reason I'm even bringing these up because these have been like my go-to since like ever, like two or three patches ago from a Magic of Sorcerer. And they're very easy to attain. Uh, they're pretty cookie cutter sets, really nothing super special to them. They're just a bunch of max stat builds that you can get some really high max magic and have some huge ass hardened wards and dampened magic wards. So you get this in the uh, the Elsewire DLC as well. So these are just my two honorable mentions before we get into the top five. Okay, coming in at number five, we are looking at Buffer of the Swift. Now, a lot of people use this in uh, no CP. Uh, this is a phenomenal set because resistances are pretty low anyway. But the main reason I'm even suggesting Swift right now going into the Waking Flames DLC is the changes to the Dragon Knight uh, Magma Armor passive. I'm not sure what, what the stamina version is called, but essentially it allows you to ignore your resistances. So to combat that, you kind of need a set that just gives you just passive mitigation, just a flat mitigation. And Swift does just that. So this is kind of a preemptive kind of counter meta set. It's really easy to, to obtain. You can buy it uh, from vendors. You can get it in Cyrodiil. So nothing really special other than it's just a great defensive set. And if things go as I predict, and there are a lot of the stamina or even magic of dragonite builds that allow you to completely ignore your existences and you compare that with a uh, mechanical acuity which is a crafted set we'll be going over in a later video very devastating combo so this is kind of to combat that just preemptively so i would definitely get a set of this going into waking flames because it might be cheap now, it might not be as cheap later if you just want to buy it. And of course, you can spend your last ones to get this out of the, uh, the the vendors. But anyway, next set is Robes of the Hiss. This is probably one of the most, if not the most, slept on sets in the game. Since the massive nerf to health recovery, a lot of classes, uh, particularly the, the DK, really relies on health recovery for a heal because you don't really have a, a good healing over time unless you run on a rest restoration staff and let's be frank when you use coag or green dragon's blood that heal is absolute dog shit and it's very expensive so getting a passive amount of health on this isn't re recovery this is just straight up health this is such a good set to use so you get health, spell damage, max magicka, which is always great on mag DK in specific. I mean, of course, this translates to other classes as well. Even a Templar would be pretty good. While you're affected by disabling effect, immobilization, or snare, you heal for 2,000 health every one second for five seconds. And this pretty much stacks on top of itself. It's pretty much 100% uptime. If you're ever 1BXing in a group, when are you ever not affected by one of these disabling effects? Okay. So this is just a great kind of healing over time. If you equate this to like a health recovery, this is, you know, essentially like 4,000 health recovery, like 30, 
650. I don't know. Math hard. Okay. So you get this in Shadowfang. And honestly, it's a great set. It's Overland set. I mean, you can buy it. So uh, just keep that in mind when you're going into Waking Flames DLC. If you feel that you need a little bit more passive healing, this may be the set to go. Next set is Desert Rose coming at number three. Now, I was going to put this at number one, but I've already made a video of this set. And according to that video, most of you guys have already kind of unearthed the diamond in the rough when, where it is this set. It is super easy to attain. You get in Cyrodiil, super cheap, readily available to everyone. Gives you armor, maximum health, maximum magicka. And the five piece is absurd. It gives you the most insane amount of magic recovery that you could ever imagine. If you equate this to terms of Lich, this set, or this five piece rather, is essentially three times as good as Lich. So it gives you 2,000 magicka back every four seconds. That's equivalent to like 1,000 recovery, if you want to do the math like that. And it's for the entire time, not just 20 seconds. With Lich, you get 1,000 recovery just for 20 seconds. So long story short, this set is phenomenal. Now, if you're using shields, uh, like a sorcerer or something of that nature with hardened wards or dampened wards, this will not proc unless you actually hit your health bar. So it's better on classes that intrinsically don't rely on shields. So I wouldn't run this on a sork per se. So mag DK, mag plar, uh, mag crow, anything besides sork and nightblade really. Is, this is going to pair really well with. Get this in Cyrodiil. Again, it's super easy to, to obtain, super cheap. Set coming at number two, Burning Spell Weave. I personally, this is probably top three favorite sets for me. Now, I'm kind of basing all of these top fives off of one, it's practical use on all classes, and number two, it's attainability. Now, the reason this is at number two and not number one is for the simple fact that you need the weapons for this, and the weapons have a super low drop rate. Me and my buddy Jonathan did 92 runs of City of Ash, opened all the chests every single run, and we got our first drop on the 92nd run. Okay, so that's why this is coming at number two, not number one, just because the attainability of this, you need you, you need the weapons, and the Inferno staff in particular is super hard to come by, so two piece, max magic gets full damage, spell crit, and then whenever you deal damage with a flame damage ability, you get 500 spell damage for 12 seconds. This is from like anything. You can proc this on Q. A lot attack from your resto staff, uh, literally any flame. You can run this on so many different classes. As long as you're using an Inferno staff or one of your class abilities have a, a flame attribute to it. So it's pretty much applicable to all magic classes. And that's why this is here. And the best thing about it is it gives you a flat spell damage buff, which also helps your healing in addition to your damage. All right, coming in at number one. You guys may disagree, Spinners. Spinners is just such an amazing set. Uh, I do know there's a craftable set that's kind of one-up Spinners. We'll be going over that in a future video. But Spinners Garments, you get this from Malabal Tor, Maxim Magica, Maxim Magica, Spell Damage, Spell Pin. This works for any magic ability you can ever make, ever. Okay, it, it's just simple as that. The only thing you really miss out on this compared to like burning spell weave is the you know spell damage proc but again this is primarily only going to be on your front bar anyway having this set you can run it just on front bar meaning you can have a back bar set as well and then that frees up a monster slot as well as a mythic slot as well as a trainee spot so if you're really all about min maxing and build spinners is always good to have it's just a tried and true set this is this is a set that I always go back to, especially going into the next patch. I'm predicting that there's going to be hella resistances. So you're going to need as much spell penetration as possible. And this set does just that. So that has been my list of top five, guys. Let me know down in the towel section if you agree, disagree. Did I miss a set that's also low key? By all means, leave in the comments. We can have a discussion about that later. I'll be doing a medium armor tier list, a heavy armor tier list, and a crafting armor tier list as well before the Waking Flames begins. Just so you can kind of have these sets ready going into the patch because, quite frankly, all the sets coming out in the Waking Flames are just very underwhelming besides dark convergence i'm looking forward to getting this set as soon as possible and i will make a video on that as well 
again huge shout out to my patreon supporters and my current subscribers you guys make this channel much more possible than than it was previously um thank you guys for coming into the stream especially yesterday i had over 60 dollars worth of donations from one of my one of my patreon subscribers actually so uh shout out to uh that drunk guy you are an amazing asset this channel i appreciate everything that you do so with all that being said fellas thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next one peace Thank you.